It's time for our last eBay break. 2018 Archives Baseball 5 box half case break number 10. There it is on the screen. Let's get it done. All right. I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as possible. Because this break takes a while. So where are my baseball fans at? Yelich winning the uh, NL MVP. And Mookie Betts winning the AL MVP. What y'all think about that one? Four spots left in the triple threads, three box banger. 65 bucks gets you a random team and a shot at $50 in case you don't get a hit. And also a shot at $100 tonight. Let's go, people. Let's fill that break up. Four spots left. Once it fills, it'll break right after this. Come on, peeps. Let's do it. All right, let's uh, go ahead and start with this, too. Here we go. Everything ships in our eBay break, so no worries. I will be taking out the, the rookie cards, though, to uh, make my sorters' lives a little bit easier. A Tom Glavin Tops Rookie History autograph for the Braves. That's nice. Number to 150. It's pretty sweet. That's the first time I've seen one of those Tops Rookie uh, History cards autographed. That's nice. There you go, Braves. Decent. Otani winning rookie of the year. My baseball fans, what do you think about that one? You think he uh, won MVP solely based on the hype? Or did he perform or uh, perform well enough to warrant winning that uh that MVP? Or I should say rookie of the year. Rich Aurelia, this guy's like in every case, man. For the Giants, so Giants fans will be happy about that. numbered it's not but it has the green bag does that make it like a short print or something i think so i don't know robin yount of the brewers the uh, top rookie history card but it's got that green back to it i don't know i think that's a, a little different if you ask me i don't know anyway what do i know
I really do like the old school design on these things though. Really, really nice looking product. And they feel like they have a nice feel to them too. Not really a fan of the fake autograph though. Now we usually sell the uh, the Sandlot spot. I don't know why, but uh, either maybe Jason forgot to do so. But uh, any of these Sandlot cards, our shorters will randomly give them away. And if we pull any autographs for the Sandlot spot, we are going to keep them. And that is the word of the cardboard Jesus. Brian Sandberg of the Cubs to 175. We usually, you know, random uh, any stuff like that, but uh, we do usually sell the uh, the Sandlot spot. But for some reason, either Jason forgot to do so or, or something, I don't know. But these Sandlot cards, our sorters will randomly give them away. But if we do pull any Sandlot autographs, we will keep them. I think Jason just wants to get, you know, get all the Santa autographs for himself, maybe. <laughs> I, I don't know. Scuba Steve says, give me one more. There you go. Way to take the wife's credit card. That's what I'm talking about. She spends all your money. Might as well spend some of hers. Give her a little taste of her own medicine. Three spots left in the filler. My man Scuba Steve. Down for two total in the Triple Threads three box banger. Well, now that I say that, I just checked the store and the Braves are gone. And the three box banger number three. So that, that changes things a little bit there. Should make the, ch uh, the filler uh, a little bit cheaper. Let, uh, let me see here. Sorry about that scuba. Uh, but the Braves were picked up here in the store just now. Uh, I just went to check and I, and I seen it. So let me see what a filler would look like now. It should be cheaper, but, you know, math is funny sometimes. So let's see. It would be... Now I'll keep it at 65. Should be 68, but let's keep it at 65. Why not? So, Scuba, do you still want two spots left? Or I should say, do you still want two spots? If so, we have two spots left. We now have Angels, Yankees, Nationals, and the combo of Tigers, Blue Jays, Royals. Scuba Steve still down for two. We got two spots left open in that Triple Threads three box banger.
right, let's see what box two has. The only big time rookie I've pulled out of this so far has been a Davers rookie autograph. Uh, the Goose Gossage to 99 Potters. I might as well just leave that now. Not too many number cards in this set. Tough to get a hit. Which is what makes this so awesome. Two spots left in that filler. For triple threads, baby, if you want to join, drop a digit in the chat. It's not that hard. Take the wife's credit card or the girlfriend's or the mistress or take all three of their cards. They spend all your money, spend some of theirs. All right, let's keep it rolling, rolling, rolling. Dustin Fowler, A's rookie, number to 175. Tani, the Rookie of the Year. Yeah, I pulled this Davers autographed before. That's the biggest uh, rookie auto I've hit out of this set so far. Hoping to change that for somebody. Nice, old school Marlin here. Ah, oh, man, I missed those uniforms. Charles Johnson of the Florida Marlins. Nice hit right there. They should have never changed those uniforms, man. They were so nice. But no. Who's playing right now uh, in the hockey, Scuba Steve? I got to get into the hockey, man. I keep saying it. I think the only way I'm going to get into hockey is uh, is by actually going to a game. A coming attraction autograph for Walker Bueller. Nice. If I'm not mistaken, Bueller, a Dodger. So there you go. A little redemption action for the Dodgers. Walker Bueller. Islanders, Rangers, are you, uh, what, what are you a fan of, the Rangers? I'm just guessing, I don't know. I haven't watched a single hockey game. Uh, I don't count the, the, the Mighty Ducks. So, but, I, you know, I, I am a hometown fan, so I would have to be a fan of the Panthers. The Florida Panthers. That's, you know, that's how my loyalty works. I always rep the hometown. Always. No matter, no matter where I go, where I'm at, I always represent that 305, baby. Which is the area code to Miami, in case anybody's wondering. It, I, I feel like that's a Miami thing. Or, or like, uh, you know, some people in, in, in California also do the same thing. Like my folks in San Diego, 619. But I feel like that's more so a, a, a Miami thing, you know, repping the 305, the the, the area code. I, I don't think many people do that, except us maybe.
Ah, a Bruins fan. Are they are they not playing tonight? Back up in this game. Well, there's also football tonight. Packers Seahawks at uh, at about eight and a half, eight thirty. Eight and a half. What? <laughs> Warriors Rockets at eight o'clock on TNT. I, I hear you, Scuba Steve. I'm the same way with basketball and football, man. I, I just like watching those sports. You know, if I could get into hockey and baseball, I'd probably do the same thing. I'd, you know, just watch the game just for the love of the game. Same thing with soccer. Soccer, basketball, and, and football are my favorite sports. Uh, I could sit there and watch those, you know, just watch anybody play, really, all day. But, you know, I do want to get into baseball. And I do want to get into hockey as well. Oh, nice, Cuba. What position did you play? The soccer's not not too big of a deal here in the states, but around the world, it's the biggest thing ever. All right, box three. What you got? Central defense, okay. Ain't nobody getting through my boy. Damn, so did you play like college? Uh, did you play college too? That's pretty awesome, man. If you if you made it that far. A Soto Nationals rookie card would be stupid fire. Uh, Gary Matthews, man, Braves are having a break right now. Gary Matthews of the Braves autograph. I am a real American. What up, Brad? Brad, I'm assuming that digit is for, for the triple threads. So, uh, if that is the truth, that means we got one spot left to fill that bad boy. So, let me go into the store real quick and let me take that out before uh, someone messes up the filler. Since we are now down to one spot left. What up, Brad? Uh, Scuba Steve, if anybody knows about bad decisions, it's me, my man. I I I feel you 100%. Unfortunately, when it comes to bad decisions, <laughs> I am that guy. <laughs> But it's nice that you uh, the love of the sport has not left you. Shannon Stewart, Blue Jays autograph. So what's your favorite team? Do you like do you follow the Premier League? Like is the, uh, do you have a favorite team? Maybe your own MLS only. The, I will say this about the MLS, you know, for a while they were and I still think they kind of are the weakest of all the uh, the soccer leagues worldwide. 
But they have been getting better, man. As of late, they've been getting a lot better. Still nowhere near uh, the folks over in Europe. But, you know, they, they have been playing that game for hundreds of years out there in Europe. Ah, Benefica. A lot. I don't really have a favorite team. Uh, I only follow the the Colombian national team. But other than that, like I don't really have a a, a favorite team in any of the leagues uh, over in Europe. Okay, I just I just enjoy watching soccer, man. I'm just a fan. Flaherty of the Cardinals to 175. Yeah, because I, I used to like uh, Chelsea in the uh, in the Premier League, and I liked uh, Barcelona in La Liga. But that's back when, you know, back when Didier Drogba was playing for Chelsea. And back when Ronaldinho, Eto, and uh, and Messi were playing for uh, for Real Madrid. Uh, not for Real, for... Uh, I literally just said their name. For Barcelona. Oh, nice. So you go to the, the New England Revolution games? How? Like, where do they play? Do they play in... Uh, do they play in Gillette or something? Or do they have like their own stadium? Because I know Miami, Miami's getting a, a, a team. And I think they're building a stadium for them too here. In uh, downtown Miami. That would be, that's going to be huge. That team is going to be huge. Here uh, in Miami. Also, they do play in Gillette Stadium. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, David Beckham got us a team. So we'll see how that pans out. How are those games at uh, at uh, at Gillette Stadium? Are they sold out all the time? I love the soccer atmosphere, man. Everybody's into it. And I, I love the chance. And dude, in Miami is gonna is gonna be nuts when we get our soccer team. With all the Hispanics that live here, and as, as much as we love soccer, dude, anytime the El Clasico comes here to Miami, it's always sold out. Anytime we have like friendlies and stuff like that that come down here to play in Miami, always sold out. Crazy atmosphere. You would think you're watching like a championship game or something. So it's, it's going to be a lot of fun when we finally get a team. Dude, I would love. Listen, if you if you'll have me, if if you'll you know give me a place to crash, you know let me sleep on your couch or something. I do snore a lot, so if you want, I'll, you know I could sleep in the garage or something, in the attic or something. You know, if you got a sleep apnea machine, just hook me up to that thing and I'll be Gucci. Uh, but yeah, dude, I, I would love to go out. I really, honestly, I want to watch a Patriots game in Gillette Stadium, and of course, it's got to be a Dolphin Patriot game. 
And I'm going to be like one of ten people in that entire stadium rocking that teal and orange. Alright, what do we got here? And same thing too, man. You, you could sleep in you could sleep in my driveway. You know? No, no problem. Oh, or you could sleep in my room, you know? Well, I'll, I'll hook up the bunk beds, you know? We'll, we'll have plenty of room for activities, man. Xander Bogart's 175 Red Sox. I don't know if you've ever come down to Miami, Scuba Steve, but you'll love it, bro. Miami is always a good time. A little, a little pricey, but compared to Boston or you know New York, it's, it's about the same. Really, a lot of Dolphin fans. That's nice. Yo, f well, actually, I shouldn't be that surprised because it's the Hurricanes, but I was really surprised to see a as many Hurricane fans as I did when I went to the Georgia Tech game this past weekend in, in Atlanta. I know Florida and Georgia are, like, right there, but, I mean, I really was not expecting to see, like, half of the crowd was Hurricane fans, man. It was, it was nuts. It was, it was pretty awesome to see how well represented we are, at least in Georgia, anyway. You've only been to Orlando? Ah, pfft. Orlando's cool, like, you know, Orlando's more of a family town, you know? It, to, to go to Disney and the parks and stuff like that great great family town but if you you know if you're a, if you want to you know feel like you're single again you know in college wheeling and dealing styling profiling limousine riding uh you know what I'm saying jet flying kiss stealing wheeling dealing you come down to Miami baby and check this out Wendy peppercorn the Santa autograph now for those of you watching, I regret to inform you, but we're keeping this. The Cardboard Jesus uh, decided not to sell the Sandlot spot. I don't know why. I asked him, what are we doing with the Sandlot autographs if I do pull one? He says, keep these Sandlot autographs, and the rest, meaning these, our sorters will randomly give away. So, if you're wondering, well, who's getting peppercorn? We are. That too. So we're keeping that. That's not fair, Uncle Jesse. Well, listen, we didn't sell a sandlot spot, which is usually what we do. Number one and number two, life's not fair. I really don't know why he didn't sell it though. Oh, though, check that out. We didn't lose anything. Charles Nagy of the Indians. There you go. Two autographs in that box. Very nice. Don't see that very often. Scuba Steve taking the last spot. My man. It's because I made you laugh, huh? Thank you, bro. So I got Scuba Steve for three and my man Brad for one. That triple threads three box banger is full. I'll give you a link to the narwhal here in a second let me just be done with this all right let me get you a link here all right so scuba i got you down for three and brad i got you down for one my man there is the link in the chat I've already taken out of the store, so we don't have to worry about anybody ruining the filler. Thank you guys. Thank you, Scuba. Thank you, Brad. Cal Seeger Mariners, 1099. So once I'm done here, we're going straight into the the Rip City Cards breaks, baby. So I'm going to start off with your personal boxes of archives, uh, Steve. And then we'll go ahead and rock out to that three box banger. And before I do any of that, I'll see what's going on in the store and drop a filler for the closest thing uh, to filling. 
All right. Let me make a note real quick. I love post-it notes. I got them all over the place, man. So helpful. Anyways. Last box, Mojo. What you got? Scuba, give me a second. It was $65 a spot. 65 times 3 is $195. So as long as that's the amount, you should be good. Let me check in the store. Yep, Brad and Steven, you guys are good to go. Thank you. I got both of your payments. And we have more three box bangers in the store. So I'll check on all that stuff once I'm done here. Cardboard Jesus back in action tomorrow. Last box mojo. What do we got? We'll see. A super fractor autograph would be pretty awesome.
for the Indians, Lou Boudreau to 175. Might as well just sleep that down. Jordan Hicks, Cardinals to 99. You got Terry Steinbeck, A's autograph. There you go. And that'll probably be it. Only one autograph per box in this set. But as you saw in the last box, we hit did hit two autographs in one box. So it's possible. So you're saying there's a chance? Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. See what happens. Last stack here. Good luck, everyone. Oh, look at me speaking things into existence. Uh, dude, I'm going to play the lottery. Kevin Apierre. There is a chance. Royals with the extra auto. Damn. Two boxes with two autos in it. That's what I like to call a hot box. Giggity, giggity, goo. Your boy is on fire. Where, where's my... I need, I need the fire graphic or something. Anyways. Let's go do it for the break. All right. Let's see what we got. To recap here. So I just want to leave a friendly reminder. We usually sell the Sandlot spot for, for whatever reason. The Cardboard Jesus, my partner, decided not to. So I, I asked them, what are we going to do with the Sandlot hits? And I quote, these Sandlot cards will be randomed off. Our sorters will be giving these away randomly. So be on the lookout for that. Okay. Again, we didn't sell a Sandlot spot. For whatever reason, so these uh, Sandlot base cards here will be randomed off. Our sorters will be doing the randoming. Okay? So you're not, you don't know what you're going to get until you actually get it. Surprise! And we actually did hit an autograph for the Sandlot spot. Again, we didn't sell the Sandlot spot. The base cards we will be uh, giving away. This one, though, well, we're going to keep this one. If Jason lets me keep this card, I'll probably put it on my wall or something. And uh, and make sure that she stays fed and healthy. Anyways, our autographs though, and we got a we got a bunch. I thought it was one autograph per box. Is it two autographs per box? Yeah, it is two autographs per box. I'm a jackass. I apologize. I thought it was one per box. I don't know why. Anyways. Recap, we got Jordan Hicks of the Cardinals, 99, Lou Boudreau, Indians, 175, Cal Seager, Mariners, 99, Bogarts, Red Sox, 175, exactly, Joshua, exactly, Cardinals pitcher, Jack Flaherty, 175, Dustin Fowler of the A's, 175, uh, for the Padres, Goose Gassage, 99, Ryan Sandberg of the Cubs, 175, and this one's not numbered, I just thought it looked cool. Autographs. Well, we got this Walker Bueller Dodgers Redemption. I'm fairly certain it's a Dodger. Um, let's go ahead and go to the checklist to make sure that it is. Put that on the screen. So we do use uh, groupbreakchecklist.com. Here's the Archives Baseball Checklist on the front page. Let's wait for that to load. 
Let's go ahead and view it. Pull up the PDF. As you can see, 2018 Tops Archives Baseball Team Checklist. Bueller. Card CAWB is indeed a Dodger. So I just want to put that up there so that we can both see what the deal is. Walker Bueller is a Dodger. I just wanted to go ahead and confirm that. So there you go. Dodgers getting a hit. What else we got? We also have Kevin up here, Royals. Terry Steinbeck A's, Charles Nagy Indians, Shannon Stewart Blue Jays, Gary Matthews Braves, Charles Johnson Marlins, Rich Aurelia Giants, and a Tom Glavin Braves autograph. Number to 150. And that was the break. Thank you, everybody.